Chapter 9 Time of the Prayers Chapter 1 The Times of Us Salat, the Prayers, and the Superiority of Offering Salat, Prayers in Time. Narrated Ibn Shihab. Once Umar bin Abdul Aziz delayed a prayer, and Udwa bin Asubair went to him and said, Once in Iraq, Al Mughira bin Shuba delayed his prayers, and Abi Masud al Ansari went to him and said, O Mughira, what is this? Don't you know that once Gabriel came and offered a prayer, Fajr prayer? and Allah's Messenger prayed to, then he prayed again, Sur prayer, and so did Allah's Apostle, and again he prayed Asr prayers, and Allah's Messenger did the same again, he prayed Maghrib prayer, and so did Allah's Messenger and again prayed Isha prayer, and so did Allah's Apostle and Gabriel said, I was ordered to do so, to demonstrate the prayers prescribed to you. Umar bin Abdul Aziz said to Udva, be sure of what you say. Say, did Gabriel lead Allah's messenger at the stated times of the prayers? Udva replied, Bashir bin Abi Masud narrated like this on the authority of his father. Udva added, Aisha told me that Allah's messenger used to pray Asr prayer when the sunshine was still inside her, <clears throat> inside her residence during the early time of Asr. Chapter 2 The Statement of Allah Narrated Ibn Abbas Once a delegation of Abdul Qais came to Allah's Messenger and said, We belong to such and such branch of the tribe of Rabah, question mark, question mark, and we can only come to you in the sacred months. Order us to do something good so that we may carry out take it from you and also invite to it our people whom we have uh, left behind at home. The Prophet said, I order you to do four things and forbid you from four things. The first four are as follows. 1. To believe in Allah and uh, then he explained it to them. Yeah, To testify that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah and Muhammad am Allah's messenger. 2. To offer prayers perfectly at the sta stated times. <coughs> 3. To pay zakat, obligatory charity. 4. To give me kumus. The other four things which are forbidden are as follows. Uh, 1. Duba. 2. Hantam. 3. Mukayat. Question mark, question mark. 4. Nakir. All these are utensils used for the preparations of alcoholic drinks. <coughs> uh, chapter 3. To give the Baha Baha pledge for Ikamat as Salat, the offering of as Salat, the prayers. Narrated ja Jarir bin Abdullah. I gave the pledge of allegiance to Allah's Messenger for to offer prayers perfectly, to pay zakat regular, regularly, and to give good advice to every Muslim. Uh, chapter 4 As Salat, the prayers, is expiation of sins. Narrated Shakik that he had heard Hudayfa say, Once I was sitting with Umar, and he said, Who amongst you remembers the statement of Allah's Messenger about the afflictions? I said, I know it as the Prophet had said it. Uh, Umar said, No doubt you are, you are bold. I said, The afflictions caused for a man by his wife, money, children, and neighbor are exp expiated by his prayers, fasting charity and by enjoining what is good and forbidding what is evil. Umar said, I did not mean that but I asked about that affliction which will spread like the waves of the sea. I Hudayfa said, O leader of the faithful believers, you need not be afraid of it as there is a closed door between you and it. Umar asked, will the door be broken or opened? I replied, it will be broken, Umar said, then it will never be closed again. I was asked whether Umar knew that the that door, I replied, that he knew it as one knows that there will be right, there will be night before uh, tomorrow morning. 
I narrated a hadith that was free from any misstatement. The sub-narrated added that they deputized Masuk to ask Hudayfa about the door. Hudayfa said the door was Umar himself. Narrated Ibn Masud. A man kissed a woman unlawfully and then went to the Prophet and informed him. Allah revealed and offer prayers perfectly at the, the two ends of the day and in some hours of the night yeah, the five comp compulsory prayers rarely good deeds remove and all the evil deeds small sins 1114 the man asked Allah's messenger is it for me he said it is for all my followers chapter 5 superiority of offering Asalat the prayers at, at the stated times. <laughs> Narrated Abdullah. I asked the Prophet, which deed is the dearest to Allah? He replied, to offer the prayers at their early stated fixed times. I asked, what is the next in goodness? He replied, to be good and dutiful to your parents. I again asked, what is the next in goodness? He replied, to participate in jihad, religious fighting in Allah's cause. Abdullah added, I asked only that much, and if I had asked more, the Prophet would have told me more. <laughs> Chapter 6 The five salat prayers are expiation of sins. Narrated Abu Huraira. I heard Allah's messenger saying, If there was a river at the door, of any one of you and he took a bath in it five times a day would you notice any dirt on him they said not a trace of dirt will be left the prophet added that is the example of the five prayers with uh, which Allah blots out and all evil deeds <clears throat> chapter 7 not offering a salat the prayers at its stated fixed time narrated Gailan Anna said I do not find nowadays things as they were practiced at the time of the Prophet. Somebody said the prayer is as it is now it is as it is it was. Anna said, Have you not done in the prayer what you have done? Narrated Asuri that he visited Anas bin Malik at Damascus and found him weeping and asked him why he was weeping. He replied I do not know anything which I used to know during the lifetime of Allah's Apostle except this prayer, prayer which is being lost, not offered as it should be. Chapter 8 A person in Salat prayer is speaking in private to his Lord Allah. Narrated on us. The Prophet said, Whenever any one of you offers his prayer, he is speaking in private to, the, to his Lord. So he should not spit to his right, but under his left foot, Katala said. He should not spit in front of him, but to his left or under his foot, feet. And Shuba said, he should not spit in front of him, nor to his right, but to his left or under his foot. Anas said, the Prophet said, he should neither spit in the direction of, the, of his Qibla, nor to his right, but to his left or under his foot. Narrated on us. The Prophet said, Do the prostration proper, properly and do not put your forearms flat with elbows touching the ground like a dog. And if you want to spit, do not spit in front nor to the right, for the person in prayer is speaking in private to his Lord. Chapter 9 In severe heat, offer sur prayers when it becomes a bit cooler. Narrated Abu Huraira and Abdullah bin Umar. Allah's messenger said, It is very hot, then pray the Sur prayer. When it becomes a bit cooler, as the severity of the heat is from the raging of the hellfire. Narrated Abu Dar. The mu Muadin call maker of the Prophet pronounced the Adhan call for the Sur prayer. But the Prophet said, Let it be cooler let it be cooler or said wait wait because the severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire 
in severe hot weather. Pray when it becomes a bit cooler and the shadows of hillock, hillocks appear. <clears throat> Narrated Abu Huraira, the prophet said, in very hot weather, delay the sur prayer till it becomes a bit cooler because the severity of heat is from the, ra from the raging of the hellfire. The hellfire of hell complained to its lord saying, O Lord, my parts are eating, destroying one another. So Allah allowed it to take two breaths, one in the winter and the other in the summer. The breath in the summer is at the time when you feel the sever severest heat and the breath of in the winter is at the time when you feel the severest cold. <clears throat> Narrated Abu Sa'id that Allah's messenger said, pray sur prayer when it becomes a bit cooler as the severity of heat is, heat is from the raging of the hellfire. <clears throat> Chapter 10 When going on a journey, pray sur prayer when it becomes cooler. Narrated Abu Dar al Gifar. We were with the Prophet on a journey and the Mu'ad Dean call maker for the prayer prayer wanted to pronounce the Adam call for a sur prayer. The prophet said, "Let it become cooler." He again, after a while, wanted to pronounce the Adam, but the prophet said to him, "Let it become cooler till we see the shadows of hillocks." The prophet added, "The severity of heat is from the raging of the hellfire, and in very hot weather, pray sur when it becomes cooler." Chapter 11 The time of Sur prayer is when the sun declines just after midday. Narrated Anas bin Malik. Allah's messenger came out as the sun declined at midday and offered the Sur prayer. He then stood on the pulpit and spoke about the hour, day of judgment, and said that in it there will, would be tremendous things. He then said, Whoever likes to ask me about anything, he can do so, and I shall reply as long as I am at this place of mine. Most of the people wept, and the Prophet said repeatedly, Ask me, Abdullah bin Hudafa, as As-Sami stood up and said, Who is my father? The Prophet said, Your father is Hudafa. The Prophet repeatedly, repeatedly said, Ask me then, Umar knelt before him and said, we are pleased with Allah as our Lord, Islam as our religion, and Muhammad as our Prophet. The Prophet then became quiet and said, Paradise and hell, Hellfire were displayed in front of me on this wall just now, and I have never seen a better thing than the foreman and a worse, worse thing than the latter. <coughs> Narrated Abu al-Minhal Abu Barsa said, the Prophet used to offer the Fajr prayer when one could recognize the person sitting by him after a prayer and he used to recite between 60 to 100 ayat verses of the Quran. He used to offer the Sur prayer as soon as the sun declined at noon and the Asr at the time when a man might go and return from the farthest place in Medina and find the sun still hot. Um, the subnarrated forgot what was said about the Maghrib. He did not mind delaying the Isha prayer to one third of the night or the middle of the night. Narrated Anas bin Malik When we offered the Sur prayers behind Allah's Messenger, we used to prostrate in, on our clothes to protect ourselves from the heat. Chapter 12 To deny the Sur prayer up to the Asr prayer time. Narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet prayed eight rakat for the Sur and Asr, and seven for the Maghrib and Isha prayers in Medina. Ayyub said, perhaps those were raining nights, and I said, maybe. Chapter 13, the time of the Asr prayer. Narrated Aisha, Allah's Messenger used to offer the Asr prayer when the sunshine had not disappeared from my cha chamber. Narrated Aisha 
Allah's Messenger used to offer the Asr prayer, prayers at the time when the sunshine was still inside my chamber and no shadow had yet appeared in it. Narrated Aisha The Prophet used to pray the Asr prayers at the time when the sunshine was still inside my chamber and no shadow had yet appeared in it. Narrated Sayyad bin Salama I along with my father went to Abu Barsa al-Aslami and my father asked him, asked him how Allah's Messenger used to offer the five compulsory congre- congre- congregational prayers. Abu Barsa said, the Prophet used to pray the Sur prayer which you people called the first one at midday when the sun had just declined. The also prayer at the time when after the prayer a man could go to the house at uh, the farthest place in Medina and arrive. While the sun was still hot, I forgot about the Maghrib prayer. The Prophet loved to delay the Isha prayer, loved to delay the Isha, which you call Al Atama, question mark, question mark. and he disliked sleeping before it and speaking after it. After the Hajjir, Fajr prayer, he used to leave when a man could recognize the one sitting beside him and he used to re- recite between 60 to 100 ayat in the Fajr prayer. <clears throat> Narrated Anas bin Malik We used to pray the Asr prayer and after that if someone happened to go to the tribe of Bani Amr bin Auf, he would find them still praying the Asr prayer. prayer. Narrated Abu Bakr bin Uthman bin Saad bin Hunayf that he heard Abu Umama saying, We pray the Sur prayer with Umar bin Abdul Aziz, and then went to Anas bin Malik and found him offering the Asr prayer. I asked him, O oh, uncle, which prayer have you offered? He said, The Asr, the Asr, and this is the time of the prayer of Allah's Apostle, which we used to pray with him. Narrated Anas bin Malik Allah's Messenger used to offer the Asr prayer at the time when the sun was still hot and high. And if a person went to Al Awali, a place of Medina, he would reach there when the sun was still high. Some of Al Avi Awali of Medina were about four miles or so from the town. Narrated Anas bin Malik we used to pray the Asr and after that, if one of us went to Cuba, he would arrive there with, while the sun was still high. Chapter 14 The Sin of One Who Misses the Asr Prayer Intentionally Narrated Ibn Umar Allah's Messenger said, Whoever misses the Asr Prayer intentionally, then it is as if he lost his family and property. Chapter 15 One who omits does not offer the also prayer intentionally. Narrated Abu al Mah. We were with Bureda in a battle on a cloudy day, and he said, Offer the also prayer early, as the Prophet said, Whoever leaves the also prayer, all his good deeds will be annulled. Chapter 16 Superiority of the also prayer. Narrated Kais Jarir said, We were with the Prophet, and he looked at the moon, full moon, and said, Certainly you will see your Lord as you see them, this moon, and you will have no trouble in seeing him. So if you can avoid missing through sleep or business, etc., a prayer before the sunrise, Fajr, and a prayer before sunset, Asr, you must do so. He then recited a last statement and celebrate the praises of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before its setting. 50.39 Ismail said, Offer those prayers and do not miss them. Narrated Abu Huraira Allah's Messenger said, Angel com- Angels come to you in succession by night and day and all of them get together at the time of the Fajr and Asa prayers. Those who have, pa- who have passed the night with you for, or stayed with you ascend to the heaven, and Allah asks them, Though he knows everything about you, well, in what state did you leave my slaves? The angels, re- angels reply, 
When we left them, they were praying, and when we reached them, they were praying. Chapter 17 Whoever got or was able to offer only one rakah of the Yasa prayer before sunset narrated Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger said, If any one of you can get one rakah of the Yasa prayer before sunset, he should complete his prayer. If any one of you can get one rakah of the Fajr prayer before sunrise, he should complete his prayer. prayer. Narrated Salim bin Abdullah. My father said, I heard Allah's messenger saying, the period of your stay as compared to the previous nations is like the period equal to the time between the Asa prayer and sunset. The people of the Torah were given the Torah and they acted upon it till midday. Then they were exhausted and were given one kirat of gold each and then the people of the gospel were given the gospel and they acted upon it till the Asa prayer. Then they were exhausted and were given one kirat each and then we were given the Quran and we acted upon it till sunset and we were given the two kirats each and on that uh, the people of both um, the scriptures said oh our lord you have given them two kirats and given us one kirat <clears throat> though we have worked more than they allah said have i usurped uh, some of you right they said no allah said that is my blessing i bestow upon whose, whomsoever i wish Narrated Abu Musa, the Prophet said, The example of Muslims, Jews and Christians is like the example of a man who employed laborers to work for him from morning till night. They worked till midday and they said, We are not in need of your reward. So the man employed another batch and said to them, Complete the rest of the day and yours will be the wages I had fixed for the first batch. They worked until the time of the Asa prayer and said, Whatever we have done is for you. He employed another batch. They worked for the rest of the day till sunset and they received the wages of the two former batches. Chapter 18 The time of the Maghrib prayer, evening prayer. Narrated Rafi bin Khadij. We used to offer the Maghrib prayer with the Prophet and after finishing the prayer one of us may go away and could still see as far as the spots where one's arrow might reach when shot by a bow. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah The Prophet used to pray the Sur at midday and the Asr at a time when the sun was still bright, the Maghrib after sunset at its stated time and the Isha at a variable time. Whenever he saw the people assembled for Isha prayer, he would pray earlier, and if the people delayed, he would delay the prayer. And they or the Prophet uh, used to offer the Fajr prayers when it's still when it's still dark. Narrated Salama. We used to pray the Maghrib prayer with the Prophet when the sun disappeared from the horizon. Narrated Ibn Abbas. The Prophet prayed seven rakat together and eight rakat together. Chapter 19 Whoever disliked to call the Maghrib prayer as the Isha prayer. Narrated Abdullah al Musani. The Prophet said, Do not be influenced by Bedouins regarding the name of your Maghrib prayer, which is called Isha by them. Chapter 20 the mention of Isha and Atama and whoever took the two, na two names as one and the same. Narrated Abdullah One night Allah's Messenger led us in the Isha prayer and that is the one called Al-Atama Atma question mark, question mark, by the people. After the completion of the prayer he faced us and said Do you know the importance of this night? Nobody present on the surface of the earth tonight will be living after 100 years from this night. See Hadith number 575. 
Chapter 21 The time of the Isha prayer If the people get together, pray earlier, earlier, and if they come late, delay it. Narrated Muhammad bin Amr We asked Jabir bin Abdullah about the prayers of the Prophet Isa. He used to pray Sur prayer at midday, the Asr when the sun was still hot, and the Maghrib after sunset at its stated time. The Isha was offered early, early if the people gathered, and used to be delayed if the number was less, and the morning prayer was offered when it was still dark. Chapter 22 Superiority of the Isha Prayer Narrated Aisha Allah's Messenger once delayed the Isha prayer, and that was during the days when Islam still had not spread. The Prophet did not come out till Umar informed him that the woman and children had slept. Then he came out and said to the people of the mosque, None amongst the dwellers of the earth has been waiting for it, Isha prayer, except you. Narrated Abu Musa My companions who came with me in the boat and I landed at a place called Baki. Question mark, question mark. Bhutan, question mark, question mark. The Prophet was in Medina at that time. One of us used to go to the Prophet by turns every night at the time of the Isha prayer. Once I along with my companions went to the Prophet and he was busy in some of his affairs. So the Isha prayer was delayed to the middle of the night. He then came out and led the people in prayer after finishing from the prayer, he addressed the people present there saying, Be patient, don't go away, have the glad tidings. It is from the blessing of Allah upon you that none amongst mankind has prayed at this time, save you. Or said, None except you has prayed at this time, Abu Musa added, so we, re we returned happily after what we heard from Allah's Messenger. Chapter 23 what is disliked about sleeping before the Isha prayer? Narrated Abi Barsa. Allah's Messenger disliked to sleep before the Isha prayer and to talk after it. Chapter 24 Sleeping before the Isha prayer if one is overwhelmed by its sleep. Narrated Ibn Shihab from Urwa. Aisha said, once Allah's Messenger delayed the Isha prayer till Umar reminded him by saying, The prayer, the woman and children have slept. Then the Prophet came out and said, None amongst the dwellers of the earth has been waiting for it, the prayer except you. Udwa said, Nowhere except in Medina the prayer used to be offered in those days. He further said, the Prophet used to offer the Isha prayer in the period between the dis disappearance of the twilight and the end of the first third of the night. Narrated Ibn Jurey from Nafi <coughs> Abdullah bin Umar said, Once Allah's Messenger was busy at the time of the Isha. So the prayer was delayed so much so that they slept and woke up and slept and woke up again. The Prophet came out and said, None amongst the dwellers of the earth but you have been waiting for a prayer. Ibn Umar did not find any harm in praying it earlier or in delaying it unless he was afraid that sleep might overwhelm him and he might miss the prayer. And sometimes he used to sleep before the Isha prayer. Ibn Jurey said, I said to Atta, I heard Ibn Abbas saying, once Allah's Messenger delayed the Isha prayer to such an extent that the people slept and got up and slept again and got up again. Then Umar bin al Khattab I stood up and reminded the Prophet I of the prayer Atta said, Ibn Abbas said, the Prophet came out as if I was looking at him at this time and water was trickling from his head. and." And he was putting his hand on his head and then said, Hadn't I fought it hard for my followers, I would have ordered them to pray Isha prayer at this time. I asked Atta for further information of the Prophet that kept his hand on his head as he was told by Ibn Abbas. Atta separated his fingers slightly and put their tips on the side of the head. 
brought the fingers do down downwards, approximately approximating them till the thumb touched the lobe of the ear at the side of the temple and um, and the beard on the face. He neither slowed nor hurried in this action, but he acted like that. The prophet said, hadn't I fought it hard for my followers, I would have ordered them to pray at this time. Uh, chapter 25 Time of the Isha prayer is up to the, to the middle of the night. Narrated on us, the prophet delayed the Isha prayer till midnight, and then he and then he offered them prayer and said, "The people prayed and slept, but you have been in prayer as long as you have been waiting for it." The prayer, Anas added, as if I am looking now at the glitter of the ring of the prophet on that night. Chapter 26, superiority of the Fajr, uh, early morning prayer. Narrated Jarir bin Abdullah, we were with the Prophet on a full moon night. He looked at the moon and said, you will certainly see your Lord as you see this moon and there will be no trouble in seeing him. So if you can avoid missing through sleep, business, etc. a prayer before the rising of the sun Fajr and before its setting Asr, you must do so. He, the Prophet, then recited the, the following verse and celebrate the praises of your Lord before the rising of the sun and before its setting. 5039 Narrated Abi Bakr bin Abi Musa My father said, Allah's Messenger said, Whoever prays the two cool prayers, Asr and Fajr, will go to paradise. Chapter 27 Time of the Fajr early morning prayer Narrated on us Said bin Fabit said We took the suhur, the meal taken before dawn while fasting is absurd With the Prophet and then stood up for a morning prayer I asked him how long the interval between the two suhur and prayer was He replied the interval between the two was just sufficient to recite, recite 50 to 6 ayat. Narrated Qatada Anas bin Malek said, The Prophet and Sayyid bin Fabit took the suhud together and after finishing the meal, the Prophet stood up and prayed, Fajr prayer. I asked Anas, how long was the interval between finishing their suhud and starting the prayer? He replied, the interval between the two was just sufficient to recite 50 ayat, verses of the Quran. Narrated Sal bin Saad I used to take it. I used to take the suhud meal with my family and hasten so as to catch the Fajr morning prayer with Allah's Messenger. Narrated Aisha, the believing woman covered with their wailing sheets used to attend the Fajr prayer with Allah's Apostle and after finishing the prayer they would return to their home and nobody could recognize them because of darkness. Chapter 28 Whoever got or was able to offer one rakah of the Fajr prayer in time. One rakah means one standing, one bowing and two prostrations. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger said, Whoever could get one rakah of the Fajr prayer before sunrise, he has got the morning prayer. And whoever could get one rakah of the Asr prayer before sunset, he has got the Asr prayer. Chapter 29 Whoever got or was able to offer one rakah of a prayer in time, narrated Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger said, Whoever could get one rakah of a prayer in its proper time, he has got the prayer. Chapter 30 What is said regarding the offering of as salat the prayers between the Fajr prayer and sunrise? Narrated Umar The Prophet forbade praying after the Fajr prayer till the sun, till the sun rises and after the Asr prayer. 
till the sun sets. Narrated Ibn Abbas. Some people told me the same narration as above. Narrated Hisham's father. Ibn Umar said, Allah's messenger said, Do not pray at the time of sunrise and at the time of sunset. Ibn Umar said, Allah's messenger said, If the edge of the sun appears above the horizon, delay the prayer till it becomes high. And if the edge of the sun disappears, delay the prayer till it sets, disappears completely. Narrated Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger forbade the two kinds of sales, two kinds of dresses and two prayers. He forbade offering prayers after the Fajr prayer till the rising of the sun and after the Asr prayer, prayer till its setting. He also forbade Ishtima, Ishtimal Asama question mark, question mark, and uh, Al Itiba and in one garment in such a way that one's prior parts are exposed towards the sky. He also forbade the sales, sales called Munabada and the Mulla Masa. See Hadith number 354 and 355, volume 3. Chapter 31. One should not try to offer a salat the prayers just before sunset. Narrated Ibn Umar. Allah's Messenger said, None of you should try to pray at sunrise or sunset. Narrated Abu Sa'id al Qudri. I heard Allah's Messenger saying, There is no prayer, prayer after the morning prayer till the sun rises, and there is no prayer after the Asr prayer till the sun sets. Narrated Muawiyah, You offer a prayer which I did not see being offered by Allah's Messenger. When we were in his company, and he certainly had forbidden it, yet the two rakat after the Asr prayer. Narrated Abu Huraira. Allah's Messenger forbade the offering of two prayers, one after the morning prayer till the sun rises. Sun rises. Um, two after the Asr prayer till the sun sets. Chapter 32. Whoever did not dislike to offer optional prayers, except after the compulsory prayers of Asr and Fajr only, narrated Ibn Umar. I pray as I saw my companions praying. I did not forbid praying at any time during the day or night except at sunset and sunrise. Chapter 33 To offer the missed Salat prayers and the like after the Asr prayer, narrated Aisha. By Allah, who took away the Prophet, the Prophet never missed them, two rakat, after the Asr, Asr prayer, till he met Allah, and he did not meet Allah till it became came heavy for him to pray while standing. So he used to offer most of the prayer, prayers while sitting. She meant the two rakat after Asr. He used to pray them in the house and never pray them in the mosque lest it might be hard for his followers and he loved what was easy for, for them. Narrated Hisham's father. Aisha addressing me said, O son of my sister, the prophet never missed two prostrations, ye rakat, after the Asr prayer in my house. Narrated Aisha. Allah's messenger never missed two rakat before the Fajr prayer and after the Asr prayer openly and secretly. Narrated Aisha Whenever the Prophet came to come to me after the Asr prayer, he always prayed two rakat. Chapter 34 To offer the Asr prayers earlier on a cloudy day. Narrated Ibn Abu Mali question mark, question mark. I was with Bureyda on a cloudy day and he said Offer the Asa prayer earlier, as the Prophet said, Whoever leaves the Asa prayer will have all his good deeds annulled. See Hadith number 527 and 528. Chapter 35 The Adan, Adan for the Salat prayer, after its stated time is over. Narrated Abdullah bin Abi Qatada. 
My father said, One night we were traveling with the Prophet and some people said, We wish that Allah's Messenger would take a rest along with us during the last hours of the night. He said, I am afraid that you will sleep and miss the Fajr prayer. Bilal said, I will make you get up. So all slept and Bilal rested its back against Rahila and he too was overwhelmed by sleep and slept. The Prophet got up when the edge of the sun had risen and said, O oh Bilal, what about your statement? He replied, I have never slept such a sleep. The Prophet said, Allah captured your souls when he wished and released them when he wished. O oh Bilal, get up and pronounce the Adal, the Adal, Adhan for a prayer. The Prophet performed ablution and when the sun came up and became bright, he stood up and prayed. Chapter 36 Whoever led the people in Salat prayer after its time was over. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah On the day of um, al Kandak, the Battle of Trench, Umar bin al Khattab came cursing the disbelievers of Quraysh after the sun had set and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I could not offer the Asr prayer till the sun had set. The Prophet said, By Allah, I too have not prayed. So we turned towards Bhutan, and the Prophet performed ablution, and we too performed ablution and offered the Asr prayer after the sun had set, and then he offered the Maghrib prayer. Chapter 37 One who forgets a Salat prayer should offer it when he remembers it and should not repeat anything except that particular prayer. Narr narrated Anas The Prophet said If anyone forgets a prayer, he should pray that prayer when he remembers it. There is no expiation except uh, to pray the same. Then he recited established prayer for my yeah, Allah's Remembrance 2014 Chapter 38 The Qada of Prayers Qada means to perform or offer or do a missed religious obligation after its stated time. Nar narrated Jabir Umar came cursing the disbelievers of Kurdish on the day of al Kandak, the Battle of Trench and said I could not offer the Asr prayer till the sun had set. Then we went to Bhutan and he offered the Asa prayer after the sunset and then he offered the Maghrib prayer. Chapter 39 What is disliked about talking about the Isha prayer? Narrated Abu Ian Abu Ay Minal My father and I went to Abi Barsa al Aslami and my father said to him Tell us how Allah's Messenger used to offer the compulsory congregational prayers. He said, You used to pray the Suud prayer, which you call the first prayer, as the sun declined at noon. The Asr at the time when one of us could go to his family at the farthest place in Medina while the sun was still hot. The narrator forgot what Abu Barsa had said about the Maghrib prayer. And the Prophet preferred, preferred to pray the Isha late and dislike to sleep before it or talk after it. And he used to return after finishing the morning prayer at such a time when it was possible for one to recognize the person sitting by his side. And he, the Prophet, used to recite 60 to 100, 100 ayat verses of the Quran in it. Chapter 40 Talking about the Islamic jurisprudence, jurisprudence and good things after the Isha prayers, prayer. Narrated Qura bin Khalid Once he waited for Al Hassan, he did not show, show up till it was about the usual time for him to start his speech. Then he came and ap apologized, saying, Our neighbors invited us. Then he added, narrated Anas. Once we waited for the Prophet, 
till it was midnight or about midnight, he came and led the prayer, and after finishing it, he addressed us and said, All the people prayed and then slept, and you had been in, pray in prayer as long as you were waiting for it. Al Hassan said, The people are regarded as performing good deeds as long as they are waiting for doing good deeds. Al Hassan's statement is a portion of Anas. Question mark, question mark. Hadith from the Prophet. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar. The Prophet prayed one of the Isha prayer in his last days and after finishing it with Taslim, he stood up and said, Do you realize the importance of this night? Nobody present on the surface of the earth tonight would be living after the completion of 100 years from this night. The people made a mistake in grasping the meaning of the statement of the last messenger, and they indulged in those things which are said about those na these narrators. Yeah, some said that the day of resurrection will be established after 100 years, etc. But the prophet said, nobody present on the surface of earth tonight will be living after the completion of 100 years from this night. He meant when the century peep when the, when that century people of that century will pass away. <laughs> Chapter 41 to talk with the family and the guests after the Shah prayer. <clears throat> narrated narrated Abu Utman. Abdur Rahman bin Abi Bakr said the Sufa companions were poor people. And the Prophet said, Whoever has food for two persons should take a third one from the, them, Sufa companions. And whosoever has food for four persons, he should take one or two from them. Abu Bakr took three men, and the Prophet took ten of them. Abdur Rahman added, My father, my mother, and I were there in the house. The sub-narrated is in doubt whether Abdul Rahman also said, My wife and her servant who has come for who was common for both my house and Abu Bakr's house. Abu Bakr took his supper with the Prophet and uh, remained there till the Isha prayer was offered. Abu Bakr went back and stayed with the Prophet till the Prophet took his meal and then Abu Bakr returned to his house. After a long portion portion of the night had passed, passed, Abu Bakr's wife said, What detained you from your guests or guest? He said, Have you not served them yet? He, she said, They refused to eat until you come. The food was served for them, but they refused. Abdur Rahman added, I went away and hid myself, being afraid of uh, Abu Bakr. And in the meantime, he, Abu Bakr, called me. Oh Guntar, a harsh word, and also called me bad names and abused me, and then said to his family, Eat, no welcome for you. And then the supper was served. Abu Bakr took an oath that he would not eat that food. The narrator added, By Allah, whenever any one of us, myself and the guests of Sufa companions, took anything from the food, it increased from underneath, we all ate to our fill, and the food was more than it was before its serving. Abu Bakr looked at it, the food, and found it as it was before, serving, or even more than that. He addressed his wife, saying, O oh, the sister of Bani Firas, what is this? She said, O oh, the pleasure of my eyes, the food is now three times more than it was before. Abu Bakr ate from it and said, That oath was from Satan, meaning his oath not to eat. Then he again took a morsel, mouthful from it, and then took the rest of it to the Prophet. So that meal was with the Prophet. There was a treaty between us and some people, and when the period of that uh, treaty had elapsed, the Prophet divided us into twelve groups. The Prophet's companions, each being um, headed by a man. Allah knows how many men were 
under the command of each leader. So all of them, 12 groups of men, 12 groups of men ate of that meal.